Wouldn't it be just peachy if we could take files on our local computer and upload them into our EVNG environment, into our servers or desktops, or even routers and switches in our own environment? Or wouldn't it be cool if we could actually download files from our EVNG environment, like the servers and devices that are in EVNG, onto our local computer. So maybe I run a Wireshark capture on one of my EVNG machines and I want to download it to my local computer. Guess what? Using the thin client, which comes baked into the GUI server on EVNG Pro, you can absolutely do that. And it's a drag and drop operation. So by the end of this video, you'll understand how to upload and download files to and from your EVNG environment. Let's get going. Look, this is another huge win for the EVNG Pro ecosystem is the fact that we can easily use those Docker containers that we just talked about to ingest files into EVNG or pull files down out of EVNG. The use case there is something like maybe we run a Wireshark capture and we want to bring that PCAP down onto our local computer, or maybe we generate a CA certificate within the server itself and we want to bring that down into the local computer, or we're just doing something like web development. We can bring that down into the local computer, or maybe we do something on our local computer and we want to put it into the ecosystem. We can use the EVNG GUI server Docker as a staging ground, and then we can TFTP the file from there to other places. So maybe I load a file into my GUI server and then I can TFTP the file to my routers or switches or things like that. Now here's the first gotcha though. You have to log in with the HTML5 console because it leverages your web browser to actually perform the upload and the download process. So I've got my Eve GUI server brought up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my thin client drives and we see this guacfs folder. That's the guac file share folder, which is where we're going to be using to transfer files in and out of this server. So if I move the little screen over just a little bit, I'm going to be dragging my Knox test file here, which I see if I open it with Pluma, has a little text in here. It says from Docker. I'll drag it onto the download folder. And check it out. As soon as I drop it in the download folder, I see it pops up down here on my browser as do you want to save or open? Let's save it and then let's open it just to verify. And look at that. There it is from Docker. So that's great. That's one way that we can download files. Simply just drag them into the download folder in GuacFS. Now, a little word to the wise here. If you're having issues with this, if you drag it into the download folder and it doesn't work the first time, just log out and log back in. Just log out of Eve and log back in. Give it another shot. For me, that's always done the trick. Now let's talk about if we want to get files on our local computer into the Eve ecosystem. Maybe I'll shrink my screen down here just a little bit and I'll create a new text document. We'll do kind of the same thing here. I'll double click into this, put some text in here. We'll say from desktop, save it. And all I have to do is jump back into my GuacFS folder and drag this into the folder here. We see we've got this file transfer section that pops up. I'll click clear and then I'll refresh the screen. And when I go full screen and drag this over just a hair, I see my new text document. Let's open it with Pluma. And there it is. It says from desktop right there. So that's how we can transfer files back into the ecosystem. So it's just that easy. It's a drag and drop operation. We drag files into the download folder to download them from our web browser. We drag files into the GuacFS folder when we want to put them into the EVNG ecosystem. So that's been the Thin Client. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.